Hey guys, um... Wow. I don't remember the last time it was that I actually made a video. I mean, I know I've started a lot of projects, like the Silent Hill 1 Let's Play and some stuff, but... I haven't really actually done anything with my voice or many new videos in, like, uh, months. God, I, I'm afraid it's almost been, like, a year or something since I've done some, but, uh... Anyways, um, I'm doing Postal 2, A Week in Paradise, the, uh, fan-made mod for Postal 2, which combines the, uh, regular game, the, the, the seven days of the week, with the uh, weekend expansion. So you can play the whole thing as one game, which I kind of like, uh, despite the fact that o Apocalypse Weekend is kind of buggy, but they've fixed some of the bugs since then, so. <sighs> um, let's see, why am I doing this game? Well... I figure, what better time than now, when there's a panic over, you know, gun violence and school shootings and assault weapons and everything, you know, take time to just, uh, to just, just chill out and relax and remember that, you know, stuff like this belongs in games, you know, and it's, it's the psychopaths that are the ones that go out and, you know, they do these crazy things and shoot up schools and kill people and stuff, but you know what? It's perfectly fine in a game because you can just, you know, it takes out stress. You can just sit back can relax and you can blow the shit out of people and it's just friggin awesome um, yeah I should also note that I'm playing this with some uh, additional mods actually um, originally I was doing the, I was uh, I had the fudge pack version but I went on the internet and I found out there's there was an update for it so it's a good thing that the uh, author is still um, actively working on it so, I got the new update, which is uh, 1.3, I think, which adds a couple new things, fixes some bugs, etc. And I also managed to find some uh, mods, like, all over the internet, so... I got things like, um... Crazy animal skins, uh, which you'll, you'll notice in a second. You might have already noticed in the cat that we passed in the, in the front. Back there, ways. But, um... <laughs> I love those Tasmanian Devil Cats. Yeah, what the fuck happened to Champ? up, dude. Christ, it's as hot as the devil's rectum in here. When did we move to hell? You were the one who insisted on relocating for that stupid video game job. <laughs> yeah, well, crack doesn't buy itself, you know. Habib. Why is Habib. the AC on? Broken. Oh, I know that feel. Yes, Gary Coleman the is in milk. It's on the You've never damn played it before. List. Don't put you on a damn list. Pretty interesting. What yeah, the? it's pretty weird. Ah, stupid dog. Champ now looks like a friggin' weird ass reptile Don't lizard thing. Out. Crap. Oh, too late. Should have a fence for that. And don't forget my rocky road. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> ah, shit. I can tell this is going to be an interesting day. Guess I'll have to walk to work. See Vince. Now I was pretty hungover yesterday, but I think I remember where I work. Score some cash. Excellent. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Pick up some milk. 
Now where is that? Here it is. I love the uh, the sort of mall music that you hear on the map screen. I don't know if it's like more mall music or elevator music. Sounds like it could be both. Probably more so elevator. Okay, started to say that I added a bunch of mods, so, um, like I said, I got improved gore, I got the crazy animal skins, um, one of the most important ones I wanted to make sure I installed was the new weapon sound effects, they sound a hell of a lot better, and most of, like, you know, the bigger guns, the assault weapons and stuff, actually sound like guns, they don't sound like freaking toys anymore. Man, what these game developers won't do for a buck, <laughs> at least it's educational. Wow. Nobody cares, that's great. Uh, man. Hmm. A video game where you play as a homeless person. That's interesting. Anyway, let's go uh, see what our neighbors have to offer us. Stun gun. I don't see myself ever using that. Armor. Definitely going to want that. Gas. That'll definitely come in handy. Hello. Goodbye. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, some teeth, there's some brains, some bones, some limbs. Pretty much everything. I love the machete, it's probably my favorite weapon. I'm glad that you can actually uh, use it as originally it was only available in Apocalypse Weekend. Originally it was only available in Apocalypse Weekend. <laughs> Not my way, damn it. Which originally it was only available in Apocalypse Weekend, but um, since this mod allows us to play all seven days, we get to use the weapons from Apocalypse Weekend, including the scythe, machete, sledgehammer, and others which I don't remember because it's been so long since I've played it. I know where I'm supposed to be going, I'm just kind of messing around getting some... getting some stuff. I mean, it would take forever to like go through all the houses, so I'm not going to go through them all, I'm just going to go through some of them. Oh, what's that guy's problem? God, it's so bland in these houses. I'm all too familiar with Arizona. I lived there for like 12 years. I freaking hate the heat. It says uh, health pipes for sale. I can't read that in many small text. Yes, you can buy crack in this game and smoke it. And it will increase your health. And if you do it too much, you will start to see some very bad side effects. Hi. Hi there. Let's see if I have enough money. Is this everything? Yes. That'll be one hundred dollars. Ah, hmm. I'm sorry, but you need more money. Shit. Yeah, I could kill this guy and just take him, but you know I don't really want to get caught by the cops yet, so I'm just gonna let him go for now. And come back later, maybe, if and when I need them. One side. That gets really old. All the NPCs say the same sort of things over and over again. Like, even if you're not trying to walk into them, like, every time you walk into somebody, they'll say, like, one of two things. It gets really, really old. So. <sighs> Just gotta bear that in mind. So I'm going to mess around a little bit, but I'm mostly going to try to do the missions, um, and after I do the missions I'll sort of go back and I'll show you guys some extra stuff, like some optional things you can do, and some secrets. I don't know where all the secrets are, but I do know where there are like some hidden weapons and hidden areas and stuff, so probably going to cover that um, either after I do Friday or after I do Sunday, I'm not sure yet. Ugh. 
Ugh. Thought there was something back here. I guess not. Hmm. No? No, I thought that was a ladder. It was just a... Uh... What's the word? Support beam. That's it. Okay, so since this closes, we're gonna go get uh, the milk first. God, what's that awful stench? And I've dealt with many uh, Middle Eastern Did shops in my life. Did in here? So no, is... seriously, I want to know. You know, it, it does it does exaggerate and go over war with the stereotypes, but you know, they really they really are kind of true in a sense, at least, at least part of them. You know. Too easy. Okay, so now we can either wait in the long ass line and freaking pay the dude the five or twenty dollars or however much fucking charges for the milk. Look out. Or we can get impatient and get our freaking knife out and start hacking some freaking bodies apart. Uh, but I really don't want to get freaking shot at for trying to steal the milk, so I'm just gonna wait. Thank you for your unclean visit. Get out! There's this temptation to freaking murder everyone in the vicinity. Bring your money to me over here, please now. Hello, and what do you want? Thank you, come again. Probably. That'll be ten dollars. That'll be ten dollars. Come again, please. please. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, and what do you want? Hi there. Hurry up and buy something. <laughs> That'll thank you for your unclean visit. Now get out and come again, please. Uh, okay. What the fuck? What is Why are so many damn people One here? Side. God damn it! Fucking move! You're in the way. Oh my God! Fucking move out of the way! God damn! Holy shit! I need to freaking decrease the civilian population. I don't know how freaking many there be. It's definitely turn to do. Okay, get out of the way, guys! I got stuff to do. Book repository instead of book, uh. What's the word? Fuck, you know what I mean. Uh. I'm trying to remember if there's something I wanted to get here or not. I'm sure you can. I thought that was, uh, something else down here. Ah, uh, whatever. Take what I can get. So. Now we're gonna go pick up our check. adjust some stuff here real quick. Make it so I can actually see the fucking crosshair. Uh, let's see. Mm, too small. Let's make it bigger. Yeah, I should have done this before I started the game, but uh, I don't give a shit. Okay. Coming through. Oh wow. Yes, our main character works at the company that developed his game. And to com and you know to complete the whole friggin' uh, circle or whatever. Even have protesters, because I remember people were making a huge ass deal about friggin' Pulse to One when it came out in like fucking uh, 97, 98, something like that. I think it was like a senator that uh, made it some big deal about it. There's a very specific reason why I'm getting these right now instead of after I go talk to Vince, because, well, you'll see in a minute if you don't know. Uh, let's, let's see. Um. Fuck, I can't read it. Carl gets fired. Nab bin Laden. Detali testing. Ah, shit, it's too small. I like how they have uh, arcade arcade games just kind of lying around. I mean, I know that they're supposed Vince to be. Vince needs a, to uh, see you, dude. Thanks. Uh, weirdo. It's supposed to be a video game company, but it's like 
you know, they they have time to freaking play games and they should be like developing them and shit. I don't know, I guess it doesn't make sense, but uh, here we go, lead uh, lead guy here, I'm going to save, because if I don't save, I could fucking die and have to restart all over again, so. Not to mention the game does crash once in a great while, but it hasn't happened to me lately. I thought I could pick that up, I guess not. I, think, I thought it was a golf club. Okay. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. <laughs> but I just started yesterday. <laughs> That's lame. Your check is on my desk. Go get it. I guess that's why I was fired, because I was fucking hung over yesterday. Hey, dude, you still here? I tell you to get your stuff. But somebody already took your action figures. God, don't be a freaking <laughs> asshole. There's a position under my desk for your sister. Oh, that's it. You're going down. <laughs> <fuck you. laughs> You're going down. Oh, shit. Fuck. What the hell? <laughs> Why won't you die? I'm hit. Wow. Hmm. I'm hit. So I guess for uh, reasons that should be obvious, the game uh, creator lead uh, lead dude of running with scissors or whatever is is invincible. We can't kill him. It looks like so. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo on him. And done. Who's with me? Games are bad, they make you mad. Games Come on, everyone, bad, follow me. I like how their solution to uh, this company making violent video games is to go in there and just kill everybody at the company. That way, they will cease to, you know, keep them from putting out games or something. Oh man, the logic is just stunning. You know, because friggin' people will vote that and just shoot the shit over any time, so I'm not in the least bit surprised if they chose to do this. But anyway, I don't want to get really killed, so I'm not going to spend time standing around and shooting these guys. Usually better to just get the hell out of there when you get surrounded by fucking enemies. Because um, that tends to happen a lot in this game, more than you'd think. It's fine if you're only doing like a few at a time, or if you have or something you can like smash guys with, or like kill them really fast. But one side, you know, gotta save ammo. Okay, go into the bank. Bank is next. I think I'll need to keep an eye out for these folks. They're definitely hazardous to my health. That's one of those great fourth wall breaking jokes. The, the protesters are actually in the game. It's, you know, we'll see more more protesters later for a different reason. Save right here. 